Hey, Washington football fans, welcome back to yet another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. And if you would like, please consider hitting that red subscribe button. It helps this channel out a whole lot when you subscribe and tune in to each and every video. And with that said, let's get into to today's video, if I can get the words out. Um, I have been way lazy and short on time to edit these videos, so uh, you get what you get here lately. So let's talk about the Scott Turner extension. Now, the fans are kind of mixed on Scott Turner. Some fans are willing to be patient with Scott Turner because he's kind of an offensive coordinator in development. Of course, uh, Scott Turner is the son of Norv Turner, who was the great offensive coordinator of the Dallas Cowboys and then became our mediocre um, head coach of the Washington Redskins in the 90s, probably for a few years too long. And then, of course, went on to be um, the head coach of the Raiders, I believe, for a little bit. Um, and then went on to the uh, Chargers, San Diego Chargers, and I think took them from a 14-2 and two team down to an 8-8 eight and eight team. So he was never, North Turner was never really a good head coach, but always an excellent offensive coordinator. And so his son is trying to follow in his footsteps as far as being an offensive coordinator. Um, I think he still has a little bit of, you know, development to go, but we extend it. Scott Turner for, I believe it was uh, another three years, if I'm correct in saying that. So we have our offensive coordinator. Now, it's one thing that, you know, Scott Turner hasn't really had a quarterback that has had the arm to throw downfield to, to really stretch the football field, to stretch these plays out. And so now he has it with Carson Wentz. And the thing is, is that... Um, there's probably no excuses left, I would just say, as far as why that we ran some of the plays we ran. I think one thing, Scott Turner was trying to play within the abilities of Taylor Haneke. He was trying to play to the strengths of what Taylor Haneke can provide to us because, you know, let's just face it. Now, Taylor Haneke every now and then can make some NFL passes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some, some nice passes out in the flats, um, he can make some plays. Certainly, he could scramble around, make some plays with his legs, and and you know get the the passes down the field. But a lot of the times, he just did not have the arm strength to really make those deep passes. You know where he drops back, he sets his feet and passes the ball deep down the field. And we really needed a quarterback like that. We have one in Carson Wentz. Carson does have the arm strength to get the ball deep downfield. So that should help to open the offense up. So it should help to for Scott Turner to open that offensive playbook up as well. So now it's really time to see what can Scott Turner do. You know, maybe Turner's hands were kind of tied behind his back a little bit. Not really having a quarterback that you would say is a starting franchise quarterback. Jury's still out on Carson Wentz, I know. But Carson does have a little bit better abilities than what Taylor Heineke has, at least in terms of arm strength. So I think that's going to help Scott Turner. And let's see if it does actually help with his play calling. Uh, there are fans who are kind of, you know, indifferent about this move. They're like, you know, I don't think Scott Turner is all that great. And, you know, he had he made some some really poor head scratching calls last year. Not I saw it myself. You know, there were some plays where I was like, why did you call this play? Makes no sense. You know, where like you have maybe like a, a third and seven and you call a, a five yard pass play or, you know, something like that, a little bubble screen and try to see if you can get uh, blocking enough for the receiver to pick up enough yak to get the first down. Sometimes that works, but you need to move the sticks. And so you need to call the plays that's going to move you past the sticks. And I don't know if that was not enough, you know, uh, confidence in your quarterback to have the arm 
to, to call, you know, deeper passes or what, what the case was. Maybe it wasn't the confidence in the offensive line to hold up enough. I don't know, but um, I do know that every now and then there were some some play calls that just seemed out of sync. They just seemed like it did not fit the flow of the game. And then there were times where you could tell that Scott Turner was just really on his his flow. Like, he was just in the zone, and he was calling a great game. Um, he had several games like that. But he's going to have to be consistent. As an offensive coordinator, you can't be hot and cold. You've got to be able to to get into that flow of the game each and every time. Now, it doesn't mean you're going to win every single game, of course, but at least that you can get your game plan going and you know you've gotten into the flow, you know what you need to do, and it comes down to basically the players on the field executing. So if they're not executing the plays correctly, you know it's on the players, you know it's not on the play caller. And so really it's going to come down to is it going to be the players on the field being good enough to ex- execute the plays, or is it going to be the play caller that's just pl- you know calling a bad game? And so I think you know we're going to see if Scott Turner is taking that next step up this year. And there's going to be a lot of pressure. Ron Rivera is putting a lot of pressure on himself this year. He's putting a lot of pressure on his coaches. You know he's he's also putting a lot of confidence in him too. He's staking a lot of his reputation on these guys and you know in a way i think that's commendable the other way it's a little scary but you know what um you i guess you got to commend ron rivera on this you know you got to say hey look i i picked these guys to help me coach this team to a championship and i i believe in these guys and so you know i want these guys long term and and so you know it's good that he's got the confidence, but for us fans, of course, we're like, we want to see it. You know, um, it's great you think this way, but it for us, it comes down to wins and losses. That's what it comes down to. In the end, we want to see our team win on a consistent basis. We want to see this team in the playoffs, and eventually we want to, we want to see this team be able to compete as Super Bowl contenders. And if if you're not in it for that, then you're you're in it for the wrong reasons. So anyway, um, what do you think about Scott Turner being extended? You know, I'm willing to to see how he develops this year with uh, with obviously a, a better quarterback, a better equipped quarterback, somebody who can open up the playbook. Playbook is definitely going to open. There's going to be no excuses. There's going to be much more deeper. Uh, passes called this year Um, so it should be fun to see Terry McLaurin's going to get a lot of looks down the field Curtis Samuel you know barring any injuries he's going to get some looks down the field Dami Brown is going to be able to stretch the field as well so these guys are going to get some opportunities deep and so that could open up a lot of things underneath to John Bates to to um um Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, Logan Thomas um, and to some of our other um, underneath uh, receivers like that, maybe Cam Sims. So, you know, let's see what happens. Let, uh, let's definitely see what happens with all of this. Um, I, I'm, I'm okay with extending Scott Turner. I'm always the internal optimist. I think it's better to be consistent. I don't want to see a huge changes in the coaching staff as of yet, but I think if year three is a bummer, we're going to have to see some major changes. So that being said, let me know what you think about all this. Let me know in the comment section. And again, if you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to come out with videos as frequently as possible and sometimes even more frequently than that, depending on what news comes out. Because right now we're heading into free agency, and even though it's probably going to be pretty dry and quiet for the Washington Commanders, things are are going on. So I just want to you know give you my two cents worth and all that. And with that said, let's hop into the next video. Mm-hmm.